you will eventually need to work with date, time, and time zones in PHP. And as painful as it is to work with dates and times and time zones, it is an important topic. In this lesson, we'll cover the basic usage of date and time, and in the second section, we'll cover the object-oriented version using the date time class. So first we have the time function. So if we do echo time, this prints a large integer, and this integer is an Unix timestamp in seconds. So it's the number of seconds since 1970 January 1st. You could add number of seconds to this timestamp to give you the time in future or subtract number of seconds to get the time in the past. So for example, we could say current time equals to time and let's echo that out with the break line. And then we could echo out current time plus five times 24 times 60 times 60. So what we are essentially doing here is that this calculation here is converting five days into number of seconds. So we're multiplying five by 24 hours, then multiplying number of hours by 60 to convert it into number of minutes and multiplying the total number of minutes by 60 to convert it into number of seconds. And then we just simply add that value to the current time. And if we refresh, we see that this is the current time and this is the time in five days. Let's add a break line to this and we could also subtract time. So we could subtract one day to get the yesterday's time. So we could do minus 60 times 60 times 24. So if we refresh, we have the current timestamp, we have the timestamp five days in the future, and we have the timestamp of yesterday. Now, as useful as this is, we can actually format this into a date because you cannot just display number of seconds to the user, right? We can use a function called date, which accepts the date format and optional timestamp as arguments. So let's add a break line here and let's do date. And as the first argument, we need to pass in the format and second argument is optional and we can pass in the timestamp. If we don't pass in anything for the second argument, it will just use the current time for a list of supported formats. It could refer to the PHP documentation, which I'm going to open it here. So it's the PHP docs for the date time format. And here we see the available format characters. So the lowercase d gives us the day of the month with the leading zero. So it's two digits. The uppercase d gives us a textual representation of the day and so on. So let's pick a few of these and test it out. So I'm going to do month, day, year, and then hour, minute, and AM, PM indicator. And we see that the lowercase g here gives us the 12 hour format without the leading zeros. The lowercase i gives us the minutes with the leading zeros. And a just gives us the lowercase AM or PM. So if we go here and we refresh, we get the properly formatted date and time. Now, as mentioned, we could pass in the timestamp as the second argument. So we could duplicate this and in here we can pass in this timestamp right here and we refresh so as you see this is five days in the future we can do the same thing with this timestamp and this is yesterday's date with the same time by default all date and time functions use the time zone that is set in php's configuration file but you could override that by using one of php's built-in functions at runtime so right now times are in my local time zone but if i wanted to convert that to a different time zone i could do date default time zone set and we can pass in a valid time zone and you could look up the supported valid time zones in the php documentation i will leave the link in the description so let's set it to utc and now this is not going to change the times here because we are setting it after we've used the date and time so i can just duplicate this and put it right after so we can see that now the times are shown in utc time zone we can also echo out the current time zone so default time zone get and then we could echo it out after so we have new york time zone and and then now we have UTC time zone. It is up to you what default time zone you want to set in your PHP configuration file, but I would highly recommend to set it to UTC. That way it makes it easy for you to manage multiple time zones. And you could do the conversions whenever you're displaying the time to the user. You can use a function called mktime to get the Unix timestamp based on the arguments that you pass, like hour, year, month, and so on. So we could say zero, 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 fourth month, maybe 10th day. And if we pass in null, it will just get the current year. If we refresh the page, we get this timestamp. So now let's format it into a readable date. We refresh, we get the fourth month, 10th day, current year. You could also convert a string representation of a date into Unix timestamp using string to time function. So for example, we could do str to time. So we could say 2021, January 18th, 7 a.m. We refresh fresh, we get the correct timestamp. We could also format this to whatever the format we want. Now, in addition to parsing 
dates like this you could also parse some relative formats like tomorrow for example and we refresh we get tomorrow at midnight we could also do something like first day of february we refresh we get the first day of february we can do last day of february and we get 28 we could also do last day of february in 2020 we refresh we get 29 we could also do things like second friday of january we refresh we get the second friday and so on you could also parse the date using a function called date parse so let's assign this to a variable date and then we could do date parse and pass the date time here which is a string and this will return an array containing details about the date so we can do var dump and we refresh let me add three tags here so we can format it better actually let me change var dump to printr so as you can see we're getting a lot more details about that date you could also use a uh, date parse from format which will parse date from a specific format so you need to give in the format here so we can give this format and we refresh we get the same data but if we were to give it the wrong format we will get the wrong result with some errors populated in the array so this is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you like my tutorials please give this video a thumbs up share and subscribe and i will see you on the next one